The site looks great so far on desktop. Let's make sure it looks just as good on mobile. We'll start with the home page since we're currently in it and move on to the header and footer afterwards. To enter responsive editing mode, click the responsive mode icon and select mobile. As you can see, the Elementor editor has already created a fully responsive design for us. So all we need to do is make some minor modifications to the layout. The two columns we had on desktop are now stacked and I'd like the visitors to see the slideshow first. To do this, select the section and in advanced, under responsive, switch the reverse columns mobile to yes. You can see here that this changes the order of the columns. The slides take up a lot of the page, so let's change the slide's height. Select the slides and change the height to 30 VH. Great, now visitors will be able to see the heading as well as some text straight away. To add some space above and below the slides, in advanced, unlink the padding values and add padding on top and bottom. Now let's center the rest of the content. Select the column and set horizontal align to center. This will center the widgets to the column. Select the heading and in content, center it. Next, select the body text and in style, align it to the center. We don't need the padding on the right that we added previously in desktop, so in advanced, change the padding to zero to remove it. And lastly, select the button and in advanced, add some padding to the bottom so it's not so close to the footer. Perfect. Okay, now let's optimize the header. Move your mouse over it and you'll see the orange edit header handle. Click the handle and make sure to click save changes when prompted. This places us directly in the header. The blue outline around the header tells us that it's now active. The nav menu appears as a hamburger icon by default. This is a great option for mobile if you have numerous links, but since we only have two links here, we can easily fit them both without using the icon. To remove the hamburger icon, select the nav menu and under mobile dropdown, for the breakpoint, choose none. Select the site logo and align it to the center. Select the next column and for horizontal align, select center. Go back to the nav menu and in style, drag the horizontal padding a little to the right to reduce the space between the navigation links. For the contact button, in style, reduce the padding. To allow the button to display above next to the nav menu. Nice. Next, let's take a look at the footer. Just scroll down and click the orange handle to edit the footer. Be sure to save the changes to the header. This looks just about right. The only change we need is to set the copyright and social icons to display in the same row. To do this, click the first column and adjust the column to 50%. Do the same for the second column. Perfect, now everything fits across in one row. Let's preview everything together. Looks great. Next, we'll take a look at the Save as Template feature. Recall that the About Me page we previewed earlier in the course has a similar layout to the home page. By saving this design as a template now and reusing it when we build the About Me page, we'll save both time and effort. Click Edit Page to go back to the home page. Click the triangle and Save as Template. Type in a template name and click Save. And that's it. We finished the responsive edits for the home page, header, and footer. Next, you'll see how to build your project post template, so keep watching!